These hands are kind of old. It's been a long time since I used them. Have you been paint for a while? No. Uh, not not spray paint at least. Okay. Yeah, usually, I don't know, I like working with like markers and stuff. <laughs> Hip hop started in the late 70s, early 80s in the Bronx, New York, out of, you know, black communities and Latino communities, and was a form of self expression of youth of color facing oppression. And hip hop encapsulates four pillars and there's there's a quote that i heard a b-boy say and i i think it was b-boy ivan and he said you can imitate but you can never replicate and i feel like that's something that hip-hop really embodies right it's all about having that originality and really finding your true form of self-expression get something to wash down first. It'll be a little bit muddy too in the front. Let's see. Hello? Y la de la de la cien. Y la de la cien. Yeah, they're probably gonna get a little dirty tomorrow anyways, but I don't know. More for me, so that I know I try to clean up, and I don't know. This gives me that little bit more peace of mind to know that they're gonna be fresh when I'm walking around tomorrow. Just really just trying to get like the dirt off, and so I'm not trying to leave these perfect. <laughs> here, you can't even see the contrast here between like the gold and the silver but i guess it, it might just be because fine detail but i don't even know from far away you could even tell that it's still like graffiti style so i don't know i leave it up to the people to decide what it means a lot of people think it says you know ryan but i go like young king ryan so yeah Street. We're in like a little alleyway over here. There's mad cool graffiti. Yeah, look, look, record that one though. Soho got like mad tagged up with like graffiti and stuff. It's cool, I love it. I know some people be mad, whatever. Oh my god, they're ruining all this property. But like, bro, it looks nice. You know what I'm saying? It's color. Why everything gotta be looking so bland and the same, you know? At least there's some variety now. Make sure you get the you get the thing though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Take it from like that angle. Alright, let me see actually. If it came out, if it came out, it came out. Yeah. Yo, we here with one of the flyest people I know. <laughs> my my boy since day one. Nah, bro. Chill, from bro. freshman bro, year chill, of high bro, school. Chill, one of the flyest guys bro, I know out here. Nobody's cut. doing it like this. <laughs> come with, come take a walk with me. Come take a walk with me. Yeah, yeah, walk stop my boy, <laughs> Richard. Now, yeah, honestly, all right, so Ryan, he's actually one of my first friends from high school. You know it. Uh, we went to a school downtown Manhattan, uh, Maker Academy. Over there. Yeah, over there. Honestly, like, I'm not gonna lie, like, Real no, talk, streetwear, like just urban kids outfit. in New York City coming up with like cheap little outfits to put together. And it's like in New York City and Soho, they like put that and like put it on like a, a top tier, high scale. Mm -hmm. Like to us, we wear the same thing, but we put, put kids, put Supreme on it, it's clip. Like it's it's like fashionable, it's high, it's high profits, like top tier. 
Hace, oh, y uno de pizza. Okay. Okay, gracias. Okay. We're eating some empanadas. I like to call them patelitos. Probably not the proper term for them. I heard the material, like the actual ingredient is different, like the wrap. But I always grew up saying patelito, so that's a patelito to me. Still tastes the same, still tastes 100% authentically valid. Sometimes you have more similarities to somebody than differences, you know? And I feel like that's something that I picked up a lot in New York. The negative connotation comes when you assume somebody's worth because they're from a neighborhood, you know what I'm saying? And you think they're less than, especially when it, be, when it means like less intelligent, less worthy. That's not all that defines you, and I feel like that's, that's the big lesson that, that I learned, that just because you're from here, just because you look like this, just because you have these experiences, that's not, that doesn't limit who you who you can be. Oh, let me spit out the gum. I was gonna be here talking. <laughs> Welcome to my room. Let's take a look. Right, right. So, first thing when you see when you walk in, my Dominican flag. My parents are from Dominican Republic. I'm Dominican American. I take pride in my roots. You know, you gotta remember where the family from. You gotta remember where I'm from. So, yeah, I got my little snack pantry right here. It's looking a little rough, you know. Last week, I had a lot of midterms, whatever. I was snacking a lot, so it's a little empty. I filled it up with some of, you know, some new stuff. I'm trying out some new stuff. I got some Fig Newtons today. I got, oh my God, this was like the steal of the century that I found. My freshman year, I went to the Goodwill at Davis Square, and I found this sweater, like pretty much brand new, like it's champion and everything. Guess how much they, caught, they charged me? I'll give you a second. Think about it. Five dollars. Five dollars for this sweater. This was like brand new at the time. And you know how much they sell it for at the bookstore? Huh. Sixty dollars. I saved myself fifty-five dollars with this sweater. Can you believe that? Over here, you see, this is a workstation. This is where I get most of my academics, most of my design done. Oh my God. If I show you my, my school notebooks, I'll show you, actually. Bro, look. That was... That was <laughs> That's what I drew in middle school. I was also like, I was like the anime style of drawing. So I drew that in middle school. I don't know. I feel like when it comes to art, I've done so much that it's, it's hard for me to like logically look at myself and say, no, you're not an artist, you know? Whether like, and, 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 it's, and I'm kind of over being humble about it because I feel like I owe it to myself to just, you know, be, be honest and get and, 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 you know, take myself seriously in that world. I don't know what music I'm going to put right now. I know what music I'm going to put right now. I usually like to put that, like, hip-hop, like, I guess more 90s. I don't know. I just feel like skating type stuff. Safety first. That fairy tale of the goose that laid the golden egg? Yes. We're making big money. Big money. fun and it also teaches you a lot about life sometimes you got to fail to succeed you're not always gonna get it on the first try but what's more important is that you keep trying you know
Hello, welcome to my room. <laughs> Barely even conscious, I'm talking to my conscious. I'm getting deeper in these flows like conscious. I got, I got to stay. a little penny.